If you fell off sideways, you landed on the damp, uh, the darn cement over there. And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I did. Yeah, he, and back in those days, to show how things have changed, one of the things you had to use, if you used pomade in your hair, you had to wear a baby cap. And so he was up on the board, wouldn't listen to me. I said, hey, Esther, you, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off. And he said, I'll meet you outside. My car, this was mostly, these were all public housing behind it. My car, there was a gate out here. I parked my car outside the gate. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight razors. Not a joke. There was a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. And I said, what am I going to do? He said, come down here in the basement where mechanics, where, where, where all the pool filter is. You know, the chain, there used to be a chain that went across the deep end. And he cut off a six foot length of chain. He folded up. He said, you walk out with that chain. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. Hey, yo, sucker, keep my name out your mouth. It's corn pop, not corn pop. What you talking about? And you promised me you would have my food stamps if you became vice president. Where my food stamps said, sucker, you better have them by Monday. And what I tell you about snitching on me, now you owe me 10 boxes of cone pops, homie. You better have my cone pops ASAP. And why you and Obama didn't let me out the pen when y'all was in office? Sitting there the whole time. So you know we got a problem.